brown cowboy. Hi, I'm Frankie the Butcher. Let me tell you what's for dinner. We're gonna make a nice Italian classic spaghetti and meatballs, my favorite. I'll open the sauce. Next, what we're gonna do is we wanna start out with some nice, good chopped meat. Okay, so you got that, all the ingredients? We're gonna just mix it up with the hands. Don't be afraid, use your hands, okay? Roll and work itself out. It's gonna just come out all together, all at once, and we're gonna sit down, we're gonna have a nice little dinner, okay? Homemade classic spaghetti and meatballs by Frankie the Butcher and Aunt Jenny. Anytime I'm on Arthur Avenue, I come over here and I buy my meat. How are you? Say hello to Peter. How are you? You gonna hook us up with some good meat today? Yes, we are. You can buy shell steaks two ways. You can either buy it like that, boneless, or you can have, we cut one up because we have this big client coming in today with the bones. And it's really simple because it's really, you know, no bone. You just slice down, you know, you try to, figure out how, how thick you like it. Maybe you cut it like that, that thick. And then you just give it a little trim. Huh? What's for dinner today? We're gonna make a nice steak with an arugula salad. It's gonna be really good. People ask me all the time, where's the beef? Well, I got the beef right here. This is what you call a porterhouse steak, okay? And a porterhouse steak, what it really is, is two steaks in one. If you look, this is the filet mignon of the steak, and this is the shell steak. So it's like, two steaks in one, it's really tender. And how you can tell it's a good steak is by the marbling. You see that white marbling in there, that grain? I wanna show you what I have here. I got some nice baby arugula. We're gonna put the steaks on here. Yeah, that's the sound I want, you hear that? No rules, no rules, do go as you like, as you feel. You know what, you gotta try different things. If nobody likes it, hey, at least you tried. You know, that's the whole thing about cooking. We're gonna go with the filet mignon. Look at that. It's just the way I like it. Mm, nice and tender. A little arugula with the pear. That is a beautiful thing, man. Today we're going to be making spirits, marinated spirits. We have your rib and we're gonna cut it. We cut it right through the bone, you know. Throw them in a nice mixing bowl. Duck sauce, Cajun pepper. I like it a little spicy, I'm gonna put a little red pepper flake. I got some hoisin sauce. It's like Chinese, a little paprika. I have a barbecue sauce that I always use. It's called Open Pit. I'm gonna put a lot of that in there. Some teriyaki sauce. Some Worcestershire sauce. Some olive oil. Some garlic powder. My favorite ingredient. And here I go with the adobo. Some syrup. Yes, syrup. Just to give it a little more sweetener. And last, but not least, peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter. Like, why is he doing that? And you mix all of that. Use your hands, it's okay, don't worry. I mean, you know, let's go outside to the grill and cook these suckers up. Really nice, look at that, nice and crispy. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Frankie the Butcher style. How are you? I'm pretty good. How you doing there, I'm Frankie doing Butcher? great, man. Say hello to everybody. Hello, world. How are you? I'm a Joey. He used to be with me on another show, but it's Frankie the Butcher and Joey the Fish. I know we sound like mob guys, but we're not. We're not. I'm really a meat guy. He's really a fish guy. Believe we're good together. We actually Surf get along. Surf and turf. There's this... Confusion? There's this confusion, thanks, Joey, <laughs> about uh, different types of fillets of, of sole. You know, there's gray sole, Dover sole, lemon sole. Everyone on this planet that goes to the fish market is always asking, what kind of sole is this? But what sole is that? What, what is this? What is sole? That people are familiar with is this one right here. Flounder filet. Flounder. Flounder okay, filet. Okay, so now that comes from a flounder fish. From a flounder fish. This is sole or flounder. I turn it over and look what you got. Lemon sole. See that? Only do the fish knows This that. is lemon sole. <laughs> Something fishy about the fish business. That's it. Now get over here and stuff it. We Come got, on, help got. me out here. Nice. Ah, oh, that looks good. Delicious. Get a little wait. dish for you. Holy cow. Mmm. Oh. 
This is delicious. Yo, Frankie, what's for dinner? Hi, I'm Frankie the Butcher. I'll tell you what's for dinner. Today we're gonna make stuffed grilled veal chop. And we're also gonna make a nice summer salad, arugula salad. This is milk-fed nature veal. You see the lightness in the color? This is what you call a loin veal chops. I asked the butcher to make a little incision here to put some of the stuffing. I made some nice spinach stuffing. We'll put a little of the spinach stuffing in there, right like that. And then what I have is nice importo prosciutto di parma. I'm gonna kind of put it like on the outside, but what I like to do, because I'm a butcher, I like to use string, butcher twine. Just go around, you twirl it, and you just, you know, you secure the stuffing inside. Take a little piece. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate this. Got some nice white wine. Put a little white wine in there. Some nice black pepper. A little teriyaki sauce. I got this spice that I use, it's called adobo. I don't know what's in it, but it's really good. So I put a little of that on. A little garlic powder. Just a little bit of oregano. Then we're gonna get some fresh parsley, just break it up. A nice fresh rosemary. I wish you could smell this. Oh man, that smells delicious. So what I got is, I got some nice arugula salad. I'm gonna put some orange in there. Radicchio, fennel, fresh fennel, red pepper, red onion, a little salt, some nice black pepper. All right, let's put the veal chops on. Look like they're done, looking how nice and that charcoal color we have. Oh, this is gonna be good, can't wait. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna season our salad. A little balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Make sure you get a little bit of everything in there. Okay. Thank you. Mine with Frankie the Butcher.